Do you ever get worried that your child may click on the wrong video online? Do you wish there was a safe channel for your peace of mind? Well, there is. The number one rated Muslim kids channel in the world, One for Kids TV, is here to solve all these issues. The channel has no advertisements and is safe for your children to browse and watch their favorite videos. With a wide selection of cartoons, songs, educational videos, and much more, your children will not only stay entertained, but also learn so much about their deen. You can listen to songs while your device is switched off and you can download videos to watch them offline. One for Kids TV is 100% run and owned by Muslims, which means the small amount you pay for your subscription is a continuous charity for you, as all the funds raised go towards the production of new cartoons and educational films for your children. The One for Kids TV app is now available on Apple devices, Apple TV, Android devices, Android TV, Amazon Fire TV, and Roku, so you can watch on most devices and smart TVs. Download now for a free 14-day trial. Assalamu alaikum and Ramadan Mubarak everyone! Yay! Ramadan is finally here! It's the best time to do lots and lots of extra worship, such as reading Qur'an, praying to Hajjud at night, giving lots and lots and lots of charity to the poor, learning new hadith, and studying the lives of the Prophet ﷺ. Ramadan is also a great time to eat iftar with family and friends. But remember, don't overeat or you will get a sore tummy. That's right, Laith. Ramadan is the month of fasting, so eating less is best. We should always try not to get angry or use bad language. And we must avoid sleeping all day, going on the internet for too long, watching too much TV or playing games on our devices for a long time. Ramadan is the best time to get close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to increase our iman. We hope you all have a great Ramadan and achieve all your goals. Let's now listen to Zaki's Ramadan song together. Assalamu alaikum. Ramadan is the month of mercy. Ramadan is the month of fasting. Ramadan is the month of giving and helping those in need. Ramadan is the month of the Quran. The month in which it first came down To Prophet Muhammad in year 16 A guide for all mankind Ramadan For fasting For giving Ramadan For praying Be patient Ramadan For giving And feeding Ramadan We love you Oh Ramadan Ramadan is the month of patience Ramadan is the month of sacrifice Ramadan is the month of praying In the mosque for Tarawih Ramadan is such a fruitful month For gaining lots of hasanat The devils are chained and Jahannam is locked For all of Ramadan We don't eat food, no We don't lose our temper, no We don't drink anything, no We don't sleep all day Can anyone see the new moon yet? I don't see anything. Oh, oh, look, there's a shooting star. Wow, a 
Make sure you all look really carefully because the new moon is tiny and can sometimes be very difficult to see. But don't worry, I'm sure we will see it very soon, insha'Allah. I think I see something over there. Oh, that's the Ramadan moon. Well, now we know for sure that Ramadan has begun. Yay! So exciting! Yeah, it sure is. There's just something about Ramadan that makes us feel so good inside. Well, now that we have seen the moon, let's get an early night's sleep so we can wake up extra early for suhoor, insha'Allah. That's a great idea, Zaki. <laughs> Oh, assalamu alaikum and good morning, Zaki. Thanks for letting me stay the night. Jazakallah khairan. Wa alaikum assalam, Maui. Not a problem. Happy to have you here. Let's prepare something light for suhoor. Mm -mm. Even though I'm so tired, this looks so delicious and healthy. That's just what we need to give us some energy for our first day of fasting. Let's see before it's time for Fajr. Assalamu alaikum everyone. Wa alaikum assalam Zaki. Did you have a good sahur Zaki? Yes, alhamdulillah. We had some fruit, dates and eggs. What about you? What did you have? My mum made me a delicious sandwich. Come on guys, it's time to pray Fajr. I'm very excited this Ramadan Zaki. But sometimes it seems like all I think about is food. <laughs> I know you love food, Kazwa, but there are many things you can do during Ramadan apart from eating. It is a time to do as many good deeds as possible, to get lots of extra rewards, insha'Allah. Oh, okay, Zaki. Let's go read some Quran by the river. Great idea, Kazwa. Did you know, Kazwa, that reading the Qur'an is one of the best things you can do while fasting? We should read as slow as possible and try to understand each word we read so we know what Allah is telling us. Oh yes, that makes sense. Helping others is another great deed to do while fasting. Assalamu alaikum guys. Thanks so much for coming to help. My garden is such a mess. Wa alaikum assalam Nadine. We're happy to help. Allah, the garden looks amazing. It really does. It was lots of fun too. <laughs> Do you guys have plans for iftar tonight? Hmm, I don't know. Me neither. That's perfect. You can have iftar at my place, inshallah. Oh, yummy. What are you cooking, Nadine? It's a surprise, Kaswa, but I'm sure you'll love it. Oh, I can't wait. Me too. Okay, Nadine. We'll see you later, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. 
It's my turn to sleep in it. No, you slept there yesterday. No, no I want to sleep on it. No, you want to sleep on it. Assalamu alaikum, guys. Wa alaikum assalam, Zaki. What are you two arguing about now? And she'd slept on the hammock yesterday, so it should be my turn today. I was just laying on her, oh, I didn't sleep. That's the same thing. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. Calm down, guys. First thing is, you need to remember that you are fasting, which means you cannot lose your temper or get angry. And second thing is, you are brothers, and you should always be kind to one another. Do you both want lots of rewards during Ramadan? We sure do, Zaki. Well, did you know that Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that you should love for others to have the good things that you have? So if you know that your brother really wants to sleep on the hammock, then you should offer it to him. Be my guest, Harun. No, no, please, I insist. It's okay, you can sleep on it. I said no, it is for you now. Here we go again. Okay guys, we have to go. Are you coming to Nadine's place for iftar tonight? Yes, we'll be there inshallah. Okay, great. We'll see you there inshallah. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Assalamu alaikum children. We all hope you have the best Ramadan and gain so much rewards from this great month. Try your best to do more good deeds than what you did last Ramadan. Remember, always be good to your parents and kind to others. Ramadan dreams. Oh Ramadan, oh Ramadan, month of mercy you are. I love Allah. He loves Allah, she loves Allah, we all love Allah. He gave us the sun and the moon and the stars. He sends down the rain from the clouds up above. I love Allah, he loves Allah, she loves Allah, we all love Allah. He gave us the air that we breathe every day. He gave us his land to stay on the right way. I love Allah, he loves Allah, she loves Allah, we all love Allah. The animals love Allah, the insects love Allah, the plants love Allah, the moon loves Allah, the fish love Allah, the mountains love Allah, the sun loves Allah, and the stars love Allah. I love Allah. He loves Allah, she loves Allah, we all love Allah. I love Allah. Assalamu alaikum children. Today inshallah, we are going to learn the dua to say before we break our fast. After a long day of fasting, with nothing to eat or drink, Muslims all around the world sit down at the dinner table at Maghrib time and break their fast together. But did you know that before eating, we should make the dua that Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam taught us. The dua to say is, ذهب الظماء وابتلت العروق وثبت الأجر إن شاء الله. To help us memorize this dua, 
Let's repeat it one more time. ذهب الظماء وابتلت العروق وثبت الأجر إن شاء الله. Which means the thirst is gone, the veins are moistened, and the reward has been earned if Allah wills. Saying this dua is a great way to end your day of fasting. Did you know, children, that dua at the time of breaking your fast is one of the times that it is accepted by Allah? So be sure to make lots of dua at the time of iftar. Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for anything that you wish for, such as forgiveness, good health, patience while fasting, and also make dua for those who are going through difficult times. To end our day of fasting, it is sunnah to break our fast with dates or water. The Prophet Muhammad wasallam said, whoever has dried dates, then let him break the fast with that. And whoever does not, then let him break the fast with water. For indeed, water is purifying. After breaking your fast, you should try your best not to overeat. Otherwise, you will feel tired and it will be difficult for you to pray tarawih at the masjid. I ask Allah to accept your fasting and dua. Remember, always be good to your parents and kind to others. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum everyone. Today we are going to learn about the wonderful words of Surah Al Ikhlas. This surah is very special because it is all about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. One day when the disbelievers were teasing Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, they asked him, Who is this Allah? the Lord that you are talking about and what is he made from? Is he made from gold, silver or copper? That is when Allah the Most High revealed a short but powerful surah called Surah Al-Ikhlas. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam then recited it to them. They were in shock and they did not have an answer. This surah is so amazing that Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam said that it is equal to one third of the entire Qur'an. Now that we know why Allah revealed Surah Al-Ikhlas, let's see what the words mean. Ayah 1 Qul huwa Allahu ahad Which means Say, He is Allah, who is the one and only. This means that Allah is the one and only true God, and He is the only one we should worship. Ayah 2, Allahu Samad, which means Allah is a Samad. A Samad means that Allah does not need us, but we need him. A samad also means that Allah lives forever and ever and never dies. Ayah 3 Lam yalid wa lam yulad Which means he was not born and he does not give birth. This means that Allah does not have parents or children like we do. Ayah 4 وَلَمْ يَكُنْ لَهُ كُفُوًا أَحَدْ Which means, and there is nothing like him. Meaning, there is nothing like or equal to Allah because he is so special and so unique. In other words, you can never ever imagine what Allah really looks like. Even though Surah Al-Ikhlas is quite short, the meanings are so great. 
it teaches us that Allah is special, perfect, one of a kind, the only one we worship, the one who all the creation needs while Allah needs no one, not born, does not have parents or children, and there is nothing like him. Now that we know the wonderful meanings of Surah Al-Ikhlas, let's now recite this beautiful surah together. قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحَدٌ اللَّهُ الصَّمَدْ لَمْ يَلِدْ وَلَمْ يُولَدْ وَلَمْ يَكُنْ لَهُ كُفُوًا أَحَدٌ Subhanallah, Surah Al-Ikhlas is truly special. I hope you enjoyed learning the wonderful meanings of this surah. Until next time, Assalamu Alaikum. The beautiful butterfly, Subhanallah. Look at the beautiful sunshine, Subhanallah. I can see a rainbow, Subhanallah. So many different colors, Subhanallah. Whenever I see anything nice, I always look more than twice. It's so amazing to me, and I know, yes, I know. I can see so many beautiful things Where do I start? Look up at the stars And you will see what I mean Subhanallah 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 How perfect is he? Subhanallah Subhanallah Subhanallah, how perfect is He? So many different flowers, Subhanallah Daffodils and roses, Subhanallah They smell so amazing, Subhanallah Red, white and pink ones, Subhanallah Allah is the Creator, Subhanallah he makes everything so nice Subhanallah From the oceans to your smile Subhanallah How perfect you are Allah Subhanallah Whenever I see anything nice I always look more than twice It's so amazing to me And I know Yes I know Allah created it perfectly I can see so many beautiful things Where do I start? Look up at the stars And you will see what I mean Subhanallah 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 How perfect is he? Subhanallah 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 How perfect is he? Subhanallah, 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 how perfect is he? Subhanallah, 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 how perfect is he? I'll set up the goals over there. All right, and I'll take the first shot. Are the goals good enough? Are you 
serious, Lath? Why don't you make them even smaller? Huh? What? I'm just kidding, Lath. But seriously, why are the goals so small? Are you trying to make it hard for me to score? Yeah, right, Layla. You know I'm going to beat you. Yeah, yeah. We'll see about that. for me and zero for you. believe you saved it. That's still one zero. My turn. <laughs> Hurry up, Leith. Okay, go. Okay, that's enough. I gave you a head start and now it's time to show you who's the better player. I didn't mean to. I'll go get it. There it is. It's all the way up on that branch. How are we going to get it now? Don't worry. I'll climb up and get it. Ouch, Leith! Sorry, Layla. What are we going to do now? Um, I think I'll need a ladder. I'll go ask Dad for one. I'll be back soon. Uh-uh-uh, you forgot to say something. Oh, insha'Allah. I'll be back soon, insha'Allah. When I go up, I want to learn and teach the world about Islam. I'm going to school to learn more things, to teach the world about Islam. Insha'Allah, 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 Insha'Allah. I'll be right back. Just praying we shall. At the masjid. For more rewards. I'll go with you. And after that, we'll have dessert. Mm -mm. Insha'Allah. 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 When I wake up, I make wudu and then salah to start my day. I'm going to school to learn more things, to teach the world about Islam. Insha'Allah. Insha'Allah. 
Insha Allah. Insha Allah. Gone to the beach. To have a swim. Enjoy the sun. It's so much fun. Gone to the park. With all my friends. To play and run. It's so much fun. Insha Allah. Insha Allah. Insha Allah. Insha Allah. Hold on to the ladder, Layla. Okay. Got it. Okay, throw it down and I'll catch it. Let's hurry back before it's Maghrib time. Mum said we are going to our grandparents' house for dinner after we pray Maghrib at the masjid. Cool. I love eating grandma's food. Me too. I'm starving. I wonder what she made. I hope she made my favourite spaghetti and garlic bread. My favourite is beef, burgers and chips. Or chicken and rice. Mmm. Okay, that's enough, Layla. You are making me even more hungry. I'll race you back to the house. I'm going to beat you. We'll see. Assalamu alaikum children. Today inshallah we are going to talk about iftar and the reward we get when we feed a fasting person. The meal we have when we break our fast at Maghrib time is called iftar. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam used to break his fast with dates and if there were no dates available then he sallallahu alayhi wasallam would break his fast with water. We should also try to break our fast with dates and water just like Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam did. A great deed we can do during Ramadan is to feed those who are fasting. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told us that if we provide iftar to a fasting person, then our sins will be forgiven and we will receive the same reward as the fasting person we fed. There are many great charity organizations that are doing amazing work in poor countries around the world. And we can give them some of our money so they can buy the iftar meals to feed the poor and hungry in those countries. We can also invite family and friends to iftar and get lots of rewards right here at home. You can help mum or dad cook the iftar meal and even clean up after the meal so you can get maximum rewards Insha'Allah. So kids, let's try and feed another fasting person this Ramadan so we can gain lots of rewards Insha'Allah. Remember, always be good to your parents and kind to others. Assalamu alaikum. Allah has 99 names. And every Muslim who learns, understands, and applies those names to their life will enter paradise. The 99 names of Allah, the beautiful qualities of Allah, our Creator, la ilaha illallah. Al-Quddus, the Most Holy. Allah is perfect and divine. As-Salam, the source of peace. Allah keeps us safe from harm. Al-Mu'min, the giver of security. Allah fills our heart with faith that removes our fears. Now let's repeat together. Al-Quddus, As-Salam. Al-Mu'min I'm over here! Where? I'm in Mecca! Medina! Are you there he is? I'm over there! <laughs> Where? I'm over here! Where's Kazwa? 
Assalamu alaikum. Can you guess where I am right now? I am in Medina. MashaAllah, Tabarakallah, what an amazing place. Did you know that Medina is the resting place of our great Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Medina is a city in Saudi Arabia. There are about 600,000 people living in Medina. The Arabic name for Medina is Medina to Nabi, which means the city of the Prophet. And that's because Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam moved to Medina in the year 622. Medina was the last city that he lived in. He was laid to rest in a masjid, which was named the Masjid of the Prophet, or Masjid al-Nabawi in Arabic. Medina is also home to the first Masjid of Islam, which is called Masjid al kuba Subhanallah, what a wonderful place! Until next time, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum, everyone. If you count all the blessings of Allah. Assalamu alaikum, Kazwa. Wa alaikum assalam, Nadine. Is everything okay? You look tired. I'm so hungry and thirsty. I can't wait to break my fast. Well, Nadine, let me tell you about some of the blessings of fasting in Ramadan. Maybe that will make you feel better. Ramadan is a time when Allah multiplies your good deeds, and that includes your prayers. You should make lots of dua while fasting too, as Prophet Muhammad وسلم, told us that Allah responds to the dua of the fasting person. Fasting reminds us of how much Allah has given us. Not everyone is as blessed as we are. And because we don't spend time eating, we have lots of extra time to do other things like reading the Qur'an. You even have more time to finish your schoolwork. Which means that you have more time to help your parents with cooking. And more time to have fun with your friends. Or you can go for a lovely walk in the park. Our minds are much clearer when we are fasting, so we can enjoy everything that we see, hear, and smell. Wow, Kazma, I never thought of it that way. I suddenly have lots of energy. Alhamdulillah, I am so glad I could help. I think we should stop and make a dua to thank Allah for all the blessings of this beautiful month of Ramadan. Assalamu alaikum children. Today's topic is about asking Allah to pardon us for the bad things we did. One of the best things we can do in Ramadan is to ask Allah to pardon us, especially during the last 10 nights. Allah tells us in Surah Al-Qadr that there is one special night in the last 10 nights of Ramadan that is worth more than 1,000 months. Wow, how amazing is that? One night better than 1,000 months. Imagine how many hasanat or good deeds we can earn. How about we learn one special dua that we can make during these nights? Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam taught this dua to his beloved wife Aisha radiallahu anha. The dua is Allahumma innaka afuun tuhibbu al-afwa fa'fu anni. This means O oh Allah, you are the one who pardons. You love to pardon, so pardon me. Allah loves to forgive us and pardon our mistakes. So we should try our best in Ramadan to make this dua as much as possible, especially in sujood. May Allah forgive all the Muslims around the world. Amin. Until the next reminder, remember, always be good to your parents and kind to others.
السلام عليكم He taught us how to pray and how to make wudu, to never say a lie and always speak the truth. I love Muhammad, he loves Muhammad, she loves Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Told us to always smile and help those in need, be good to our parents are all good deeds. I love Muhammad, he loves Muhammad, she loves Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Be kind to our neighbors, good to our elders, kind to animals and plants as well. I love Muhammad, he loves Muhammad, she loves Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Khadija loved Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Omar loved Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Fatima loved Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Uthman loved Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Aisha loved Muhammad, sallallahu Ali loved Muhammad. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Abu Bakr loved Muhammad. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We all love Muhammad. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Sumaya. Yes, Zaki. Did you know that if we truly love Allah, then we must follow? I know, Zaki. Who, Sumaya? We must follow the way of Prophet Muhammad. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That's right. And that's why we love Muhammad. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We should spend most of our time to be just like he was so we can be with him in the gardens of paradise. She loves Muhammad. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I love Muhammad. He loves Muhammad. She loves Muhammad. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I love Muhammad. He loves Muhammad. She loves Muhammad. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Someone left a banana peel on the ground. Did you say banana? I love bananas. <laughs> not a banana, a banana peel. That's not good. Someone could slip on it and get hurt. In that case, we better put it in a bin before someone sleeps, Zaki. I agree. And removing harm from roads and pathways is actually part of our iman and faith. Is it? Sure it is, Kazwa. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Faith has around 70 levels. The highest and best of them is saying, La ilaha illallah. And the lowest of them is removing something harmful from the road or pathway. Subhanallah, 
If everyone were to follow this amazing teaching of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, our streets would always be clean. That's right Kazwa. Till next time, remember, always be good to your parents and kind to others. Assalamu As alaikum. Zach is little reminders. We pray for in the morning. Assalamu alaikum everyone. Do you want a house built for you in Jannah? I'm sure you do. Well, did you know that if you pray 12 rak'at or units of sunnah prayers with your five daily prayers, then Allah has promised to build you a house in Jannah. In Ramadan, we receive so many rewards for all our good deeds. We should always find new ways to gain even more rewards. Praying our sunnah prayers is one way we can do this, insha'Allah. Now, let's count the 12 sunnah prayers. Before Fajr prayer, we pray two rak'at. Before Dhuhr prayer, we pray two rak'at and then another two rak'at. After we pray Dhuhr prayer, we pray another two rak'at. So far, that is eight rak'at. After Maghrib prayer, we pray two rak'at. After Isha prayer, we pray two rak'at. That is a total of 12 rak'at units of sunnah prayers. Are you going to do your best to pray your sunnah prayers? Inshallah you all do. Always remember to take your time and make the intention to concentrate whilst praying. I better go make wudu so I can pray my sunnah prayers. For Fajr I pray to and Thawar I pray for and Asr is for you and two. Maghrib we pray three, Isha we pray four. That's our five daily prayers. That's our five daily prayers. We pray Fajr in the morning, Thawar when it's midday, Asr in the afternoon. Fajr I pray to and Thawar I pray for and Asr is for you not to Maghrib we pray three, Isha we pray four That's our five daily prayers That's our five daily prayers And don't forget to pray Many Sunnah prayers a day Say plenty of joy Assalamu alaikum children. How was your iftar dinner last night? Did you have spaghetti or a delicious salad? I had a vegetable soup that Nadine made for us. And afterwards, we had a fruit salad for dessert. Mm -mm. Send me an email and tell me what you had for iftar. In today's reminder, inshallah, we will talk about those who do not have to fast. Did you know that there are some people that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has allowed not to fast? I wonder why? Because Islam has come to make things easy upon us and not difficult. Let's see who these people are. 
The first person who does not have to fast is a sick person who feels that fasting will make them feel worse. A person who is traveling also does not have to fast because during their travels they need energy to get to their destination. If they do not eat or drink, they may become weak and sick before reaching their place of travel. Also, a woman who is pregnant, meaning she has a baby in her stomach, does not have to fast if she feels that she may also become weak or sick. How merciful is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that He gives those who cannot fast the permission to break their fast until they are able to do so. So children, it is important for us to understand that some people don't have to fast and Allah is still happy with them. We should be understanding and not tease those who are not fasting because we don't know what reason they may have. Till the next reminder, remember, always be good to your parents and kind to others. Assalamu alaikum. Before I eat, Bismillah. or have a drink, Bismillah. ouch that hurt, Bismillah. put on a shirt, Bismillah. open the door, Bismillah. go to the store, Bismillah. get on my bike, Bismillah. or fly my kite. Bismillah. Bismillah, Bismillah, in the name of Allah. Bismillah, Bismillah, we rely on only you. Bismillah, 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 Bismillah. Before I stand, Bismillah, or sit down, Bismillah, running around, Bismillah, don't feel down, Bismillah, get in the car, Bismillah, lifting a bar. Bismillah. We always say Bismillah every day. Bismillah. 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 In the name of Allah. Bismillah. Bismillah. We rely on only you. Bismillah. 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 Go into school. Bismillah. Jump in a pool Bismillah. Before a test Bismillah. I'll do my best Bismillah. Put on my shoes Bismillah. You never lose Bismillah. Just always say Bismillah. Every day Bismillah. Bismillah Bismillah In the name of Allah Bismillah Bismillah We rely on only you Bismillah 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 Bismillah, 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 Bismillah. Let's read Quran. Bismillah. Just me and you. Bismillah. Break in our fast. Bismillah. Or make wudu. Bismillah. Play in the park. Bismillah. Take in a bath. Bismillah. Just always say. Bismillah. Every day. Bismillah. Bismillah, Bismillah. In the name of Allah. Bismillah. Bismillah, we rely on only you. Bismillah, 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 Bismillah. Today, inshallah, we will learn about giving sadaqah, charity. Sadaqah means to give something voluntarily or to give charity to someone. Is sadaqah only giving money? Of course not. It can also be clothing, food, a smile, or even a nice word. Prophet Muhammad وسلم, said, A nice word is sadaqah, charity. And in another statement, all goodness is a form of sadaqah. Do you know one of the best charities we can give? One of the best charities we can give is money to help and support a needy person. This sadaqah is very rewarding because it brings happiness and ease to someone in need. Not only is it very rewarding, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala promises to give you more when you give. How amazing! You can help the poor, gain hasanat, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give you more. I want to give sadaqah right now. <laughs> We should try to give as much sadaqah as possible, especially in the month of Ramadan. The Prophet Muhammad was extremely generous 
especially in Ramadan. He would give all he had to support and strengthen the poor and needy people. So children, let's make the most of Ramadan by giving as much sadaqah as we can to those who are in need of our help and support. Start today, even if it is one dollar a day or a week. It may seem little, yet with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it is a lot. May Allah reward you all for your generosity. See you in the next reminder insha'Allah. And remember, always be good to your parents and kind to others. Assalamu alaikum. That day is finally here today The day we've all been waiting for It's our favorite day of the year We fasted for a month And dreamt about this day What day is it kids? Come along and sing with me It's heat day Lots and lots of fun It's heat day Fun for everyone It's heat day Family and friends It's heat day With lots of yummy treats It's heat day It's heat day Ramadan has come and gone We'll miss you oh so much And thank you for the blessings And all you've done for us But now What day is it kids? It's heat day Lots and lots of fun It's heat day Fun for everyone It's heat day Family and friends It's heat day With lots of yummy treats It's heat day It's heat day It's heat day Lots and lots of fun It's heat day Fun for everyone It's heat day Family and friends It's heat day With lots of yummy treats It's heat day It's heat day Heed Mubarak everyone I hope you are all having a fun heat day. Oh, there's Kaswa. Eid Mubarak, Zaki. Eid Mubarak, Kaswa. Oh, I am having such a wonderful day. Alhamdulillah. Yes, isn't it such an exciting day? Sure is. Lots of yummy food everywhere. <laughs> yes, and lots of family and friends exchanging gifts. Zaki, let's go on the next ride. Okay, Kazwa, let's go. Do you ever get worried that your child may click on the wrong video online? Do you wish there was a safe channel for your peace of mind? Well, there is. The number one rated Muslim kids channel in the world, One for Kids TV, is here to solve all these issues. The channel has no advertisements and is safe for your children to browse and watch their favorite videos. With a wide selection of cartoons, songs, educational videos, and much more, your children will not only stay entertained, but also learn so much about their deen. You can listen to songs while your device is switched off and you can download videos to watch them offline. One for Kids TV is 100% run and owned by Muslims, which means the small amount you pay for your subscription is a continuous charity for you, as all the funds raised go towards the production of new cartoons and educational films for your children. The One for Kids TV app is now available on Apple devices, Apple TV, Android devices, Android TV, Amazon Fire TV, and Roku, so you can watch on most devices and smart TVs. Download now for a free 14-day trial. Zaki's Little Reminders Assalamu alaikum children. Today's little reminder is about eating. 
and everything we do should be just like Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam did. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam taught us that when we eat, we should start by saying Bismillah. Eat with our right hands. Eat from what's in front of us. Sit down while eating. Try not to overeat. Never waste food. Thank Allah for that delicious meal or drink by saying Alhamdulillah. Clean up after yourself and don't leave a mess behind. Wash your plate or cup and put it away. And finally, don't forget to wash your hands and mouth when you're done. Zach is little reminders. Assalamu alaikum children. Today inshallah, we will learn about the night prayers during Ramadan. Did you know that during the month of Ramadan, from the first night until the last night, there is a special prayer which is performed after the Isha prayer. This prayer is called Salatul Tarawih. The word Tarawih comes from the Arabic word meaning rest. This is because we take short breaks in between each two units of prayer. This prayer is performed so we can gain more rewards in Ramadan, draw closer to Allah and earn His forgiveness. I love Allah, He loves Allah, she loves Allah, we all love Allah. Praying Tarawih is a sunnah of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam said, Whoever observes night prayer in Ramadan with faith and to seek reward from Allah will have his or her previous sins wiped out. How amazing is that? May Allah forgive us all. So children, try to make the most of Ramadan by going to the masjid to pray the Tarawih prayer. And if you can't make it to the masjid, you can always pray at home. Until the next reminder, remember, always be good to your parents and kind to others. Assalamu alaikum. He gave us the air that we breathe every day. He gave us Islam to stay on the right way. Zach is little reminders. <laughs> No fish today. Zaki, do you have any interesting stories about Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? I sure do, Kazwa. Let me tell you one of my favorite stories. There once was a Jewish man by the name of Abdullah ibn Salam. He lived in Al Madina. Although he wasn't a Muslim, when he heard that Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam had arrived in his city, he decided to go and see what all the fuss and excitement was about. So he rushed over to where all the people had gathered. Looking through the crowd, Abdullah ibn Salam finally spotted Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. When he saw the Prophet's face, he thought to himself, that is not the face of a liar. Then finally, he heard the first words of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and they were, Ya ayyuhal nas, afshu salam, wa at'imu ta'am, wa sallu, wa nasu niyam, tatkulu al-jannah bi salam. Which means, O oh people, spread the greeting of salam, which is peace, feed the poor, pray at night while everyone is asleep, and if you do these three things, you will enter Jannah in peace. SubhanAllah! Only three simple things to do with such a huge reward! So what happened next, Zaki? Well, Kaz, Abdullah ibn Salam loved these words so much that it was enough for him to become a Muslim. And seeing the Prophet's beautiful face also made him realize that he must be a Prophet sent by Allah. 
I wish I could see the face of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Insha'Allah we all enter Jannah and see the face of our beloved Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Insha'Allah. Oh, oh, I think I got something, Zaki. Oh, <laughs> it's a boot. I think I've got something too, Kazwa. I think it's a big fish. Oh, it's a tuna can. <laughs> At least we got something. Well, it's a good way to keep the river clean. <laughs> <laughs> Allah has 99 names and every Muslim who learns, understands and applies those names to their life will enter paradise. The 99 names of Allah, the beautiful qualities of Allah, our Creator, la ilaha illahu. al muhaymin they're ever watching. Allah sees everything that we do all the time. Al-Aziz, the Almighty. Allah is strong and able to do anything. Al-Jabbar, the Restorer. Allah repairs everything around us and makes things right. Now let's repeat together. Al-Muhaymin. Al-Aziz Al-Jabbar I'm over here! Where? I'm in Mecca! Medina! Al-Dahiz? I'm over there! <laughs> Where? I'm over here! Where's Kazwa? Assalamu alaikum! Can you guess where I am right now? I am at Al Masjid Al Aqsa. Subhanallah, what a beautiful place! Al Masjid Al Aqsa is located in Palestine, which is one of the oldest cities in the world. Al Masjid Al Aqsa was the second masjid built on earth. Many of our scholars say that it was built by Prophet Sulaiman salam himself. Did you know that Al Masjid Al Aqsa is the third most blessed masjid on the planet? The first is Al Masjid Al Haram which is also known as the Kaaba in Mecca. The second is the Prophet's Masjid in Al Madina. The third is Al Masjid Al Aqsa. Did you also know that the Muslims first used to pray towards it before they migrated and traveled to Al Madina? It was only afterwards that Allah commanded the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the believers to pray towards the Kaaba instead. And the Muslims have been doing so ever since. Al Masjid Al Aqsa is not only one masjid, it is made up of lots of buildings, including the Dome of the Rock. Many people believe the Dome of the Rock is Al Masjid Al Aqsa because of its beautiful golden dome. It's important to know that when you see this golden dome, this is really the Dome of the Rock and not Al Masjid Al Aqsa. Assalamu alaikum everyone. Today, inshallah, we will be learning about dua. Dua is to ask Allah for the things we need, such as good health, iman, to enter Jannah, and many other good things. Because during the month of Ramadan, our dua is so powerful. Did you know, children, that during Ramadan, the doors of Jannah are open, and Allah's mercy is wider than in any other month. We should make as much dua as possible in Ramadan, especially during the last 10 nights. Dua can be made anytime and anywhere. One special time 
is just before the time of sunset, which is Maghrib time, when we are just about to break our fast. In this time, we should make lots and lots of dua. Parents, you should try your best to teach your children many supplications and before you know it, they will have them all memorized, insha'Allah. How about making a habit by sitting together as a family every night to make dua together? So children, we should try our best to get the most out of Ramadan by making lots of dua for ourselves, our family and our friends. Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for His forgiveness and mercy. Till the next reminder, remember, always be good to your parents and kind to others. Assalamu alaikum. Zaki's little reminders. Assalamu alaikum, children. Tonight, Kaswa is sleeping over my place. Oh, there he is now. Assalamu alaikum, Zaki. Ready for the sleepover? Sure am. But what did you bring with you, Kaswa? Hmm. I bought my pillow, blanket, and lots of yummy snacks. <laughs> you know, Kazwa, I've got everything you need right here. I know, but this is my favorite pillow. It helps me sleep better. Speaking of sleep, why don't we remind the children what they should do before going to bed? That's a great idea, Zeki. The first thing we should do before going to bed at night is to perform wudu. Do we make wudu just like we do for prayer? That's right, Kazwa. Next we recite the three kuls. The three kuls are the last three chapters of the Quran. Oh, oh, I know them. They are Kul huwallahu ahad, Kul a'udhu bi rabbil falak, and Kul a'udhu bi rabbin nas. Am I right, Zaki? You sure are, Kazwa. How about we show everyone how the Prophet did it? He would first blow into his hands, then he would recite the three Quls. After that, he would wipe his hands all over his face and body. Number 3. Recite Ayatul Kursi. By reciting this ayah before you sleep, Allah sends an angel to protect you all night. SubhanAllah, that's good to know. Number 4. Say the following dua. Bismik Allahumma amutu wa ahya. And number 5 is to sleep on your right side. This is how Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam slept. But what if my right side is hurting me, Zaki? Can I lie on my left? Sure you can, Kazwa. Allah made things easy for us. However, try not to lie down on your stomach because this is how the shaitan sleeps. Zaki's little reminders. <sighs> I'm so sleepy now. Me too. Good night, children. Assalamu alaikum. One for Kids online store. Check out a range of fun and educational Zaki and Friends products your children will love. There's the world famous Zaki talking and singing toy, Zaki's Arabic pack, cloud pillow, plush toys, and more. For Ramadan, we have the new Ramadan show bag and the Ramadan educational pack. Our products are designed to keep your children entertained while learning about their deen. Purchase online now shop.oneforkids.net We thank you for your support. Assalamu alaikum children. I hope you are enjoying Ramadan like I am. Today's topic inshallah is about how we should be fasting not only from eating and drinking but also fasting from all bad things that come out of our mouth, what we may see with our eyes and what we may hear with our ears. When we think of fasting, most of us think about not eating or drinking. This is a big part of fasting. However, it is important that we also fast with our mouth 
eyes and ears. Now what does this mean? Fasting from the mouth means we should stay away from arguing, lying or saying bad words. <coughs> Prophet Muhammad wasallam said, Whoever does not leave off bad speech and action, then Allah is not in need of him to leave off his food and drink. So make sure you only say that which is good. Fasting with the eyes means that we should not look at anything that is haram for us to look at. And fasting with the ears means we should not listen to anything haram such as music or bad words or people saying bad things about others. All this is very important for our fasting to be perfect. So children, during the month of Ramadan, we should avoid getting angry or saying bad words, especially to our parents. We should also stay away from watching bad things on TV or on the internet. And lastly, try to only listen to the things Allah loves and not to anything bad. Until the next reminder, remember, always be good to your parents and kind to others. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum, children. Today, we are going to learn the meanings of Surah An Nas, which is the last surah in the Quran. Because it is the last surah, that means it is surah number 114. The first ayah is Qul a'udhu bi rabbin nas which means say I seek protection with the Lord of all the people. Ayah 2 Malikin nas Allah is also Malikun nas which means he is the king of all the people. Today, when we hear about kings, we think of kings of countries. However, Allah is not that kind of king. He is the king of the entire universe. Ayah 3 Ilahin Nas Allah is also the God of all the people, meaning he is the only one we must worship. One of the best ways to worship Allah is to pray. We must pray five times a day. So, in ayat 1, 2 and 3, we are asking Allah for help and protection because He is Ar-Rabb, the Lord, Al-Malik, the King, Al-Ilah the only one that must be worshipped. Ayah 4 مِنْ شَرِّ الْوَسْوَاسِ الْخَنَّاسِ which means from the evil of the whisperer who keeps coming back. The whisperer here is the shaitan who comes back and forth with his evil whispers. Ayah 5 الَّذِي يُوَسْوِسُ the one who whispers in the chests of people. Shaitan tries to whisper bad things in our hearts to try and make us do them. Ayah 6 Min al From the jinn and the people. Meaning, Shaitan has many helpers, both from people and the jinn. The jinn are another creation of Allah that we can't see. Another creation of Allah that we can't see are the angels. Now let's recite Surah An-Nas together. قُلْ أَعُوذُ بِرَبِّ النَّاسِ مَلِكِ النَّاسِ إِلَاهِ النَّاسِ من شر الوسواس الخناس الذي يوسوس في صدور الناس من الجنة والناس I hope this has helped you understand the wonderful words of Surah An-Nas. This surah has taught us to be very careful 
from the bad things that we think about because they are from the shaitan who is always trying to keep us away from doing the right thing. It's very important that we recite Surah An-Nas every day and every night so Allah can always protect us from shaitan's evil whispers. Until next time, Assalamu Alaikum. Assalamu alaikum everyone. Once a companion who was a close friend of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam came to the Prophet and gave him some food. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam accepted this nice gift and then said, when someone gives you something good, you should accept and then say to them, Jazakallahu khairan, which means, may Allah reward you with goodness. The companions of the Prophet took this as an important lesson so they would always say Jazakallahu Khairan whenever someone did something good to them. This is the best way to thank another Muslim as you are asking Allah to reward them for their kindness. What a lovely way to remember Allah. By giving thanks to people for the nice things they do for us we are also giving thanks to Allah at the same time. We remember Allah with Zaki. He is here. He is here. We are going to the eat We are going to the eat Celebrations everywhere on such a beautiful day. We are going to the eat We are going to the eat When again we'll miss, but thank you for the eat. I can't wait to wake in the morning, inshallah. Wear my best clothes and go to pray the Eid prayer. Eid Mubarak to everyone. Kiss and hug my parents and all my brothers and sisters too. Joy is all around. Alhamdulillah. Eat is here. Eat is here. We are going to the eat show. We are going to the eat show. Celebrations everywhere on such a beautiful day. We are going to the eat show. Do you ever get worried that your child may click on the wrong video online? Do you wish there was a safe channel for your peace of mind? Well, there is. The number one rated Muslim kids channel in the world, One For Kids TV, is here to solve all these issues. The channel has no advertisements and is safe for your children to browse and watch their favorite videos. With a wide selection of cartoons, songs, educational videos, and much more, your children will not only stay entertained, but also learn so much about their deen. You can listen to songs while your device is switched off and you can download videos to watch them offline. One for Kids TV is 100% run and owned by Muslims, which means the small amount you pay for your subscription is a continuous charity for you, as all the funds raised go towards the production of new cartoons and educational films for your children. The One for Kids TV app is now available on Apple devices, Apple TV, Android devices, Android TV, Amazon Fire TV, and Roku, so you can watch on most devices and smart TVs. Download now for a free 14-day trial.